everyone, welcome to Art of the Unquiet Grave. If you're new here, I'm Ash, and on this channel I typically do gothic, horror-related, or generally spooky DIY projects, um, but the video today is going to be a little bit different <laughs> than what I typically do because I had a very cool opportunity this past weekend to go to Ohio TerrorCon in Strongsville, Ohio. Um, so I can't quite call this a vlog. Um, I'm not a confident vlogger, so I was walking around the convention trying to get little clips for you guys. Um, so I will put the little footage that I did get in here and also kind of talk through my experience of the con, the celebrities I got to meet, and some other fun things that we did um, while I was out in Ohio. So I'll get more confident with vlogging as time goes on, so please bear with me, but I just had such a, an amazingly fun time while I was out there and I wanted to share it with you guys. So. Um, before I left my area to head out to Strongsville, Ohio, which is about a two hour drive for me, I actually went out and uh, got breakfast with my friend Cozy from over at Make It Cozy. Um, I will put a link to his YouTube channel down below, but I know him completely through YouTube, but the first time I met him was um, back in June, actually when I did the Allentown Night Market, um, which I made a little video about back when that was happening. But we found out just by total coincidence, we actually happened to live Pretty close to each other so he came out to that night market when i vended back in june and brought me this beautiful guy which is a concrete skull that he has a tutorial for on his channel about how he makes these um i am going to be using this in a future project but um cozy and i met up to discuss um, some future collaborations that we want to do for our channels um, and have them out for you guys before halloween so if you would please go subscribe to cozy's channel so you can see what we're working on for you i would greatly appreciate it um, but anyway, after after we finished breakfast, I hopped back in my car and then made the drive out to Strongsville to meet my friend Brewster. Um, so Brewster had the amazing opportunity to co-host the Toxic Avenger 40th anniversary Q&A panel um, with his friend Uncle Tiki from over at Talking Tapes. Um, I think, I think <laughs> I finally convinced Brewster to start a YouTube channel. So if and when he does that and listens to me, which he better. I, I'll put his information down below. But right now he has horror trivia and a bunch of other fun horror related things on his Facebook page. So I'll... it'll tell you. Okay, good. Did I hit the button? You want to double check? Okay. Hey, freaky frighteners. Brewster here. We uh, are listening to a car honk. Apparently someone's getting broken into. Um, we just got back from Ohio TerrorCon for the 40th anniversary of the Toxic Avenger. Stop it. So this is really hard for me to do because I can't say F-bombs on poor Ashley's page, but you could see him on mine. Brewster, he's so cool on Facebook. I think Brewster Gore on Instagram, although I'm not entirely sure. But the cast of the Toxic Avenger was amazing. And I, I mean, I was already a fan prior to this, but they were the nicest people I've ever met. May or may not have made some contacts. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Dr. Satan was awesome, as well as uh, Amelia Kincaid from Night of the Demons, too. Total sweetheart. So what's that, Gary? <laughs> and one, one, one and two. This is my friend Ashley, who's uh, going to be editing this stuff for you. I'm going to send her the pictures of where maybe she'll make a little montage. Uh, what's the other word? Collage for you. We'll get some tunes that are not copywritten. I don't know how this stuff works. I'm just kind of winging this whole thing as I speak. So we're going to go off and get some more trouble. But uh, let us know what you think. Stay cool, Freaky Frighteners. Excuse me. I was saying. Sorry for the rude interruption. Anyway. That was Brewster. <laughs> um, so go check him out. Apparently he has, in fact, as I was filming this, started a YouTube channel. So I'll put that down below for you guys, too. And uh, anyway, let's jump back into it. <laughs> so after I got to the convention, met up with him, we went to go meet some celebrities. So the first one that we met was Walter Phelan, who I'm sure you guys know from um, House of a Thousand Corpses. He was Dr. Satan, of course, iconic, um, and also Demon Knight. He has so many cool credits <laughs> to him and also is an amazing FX artist in his own right. But um, he was such a lovely guy, had so many fun anecdotes about um, House of a Thousand Corpses and his career in general. So if he comes to a horror convention near you, can't recommend meeting him enough. It was, it was a good time. So I'll pop the pictures that I got somewhere in here <laughs> so you guys can see. Um, but then I was really excited because one of my all-time favorite horror movies is Night of the Demons. So the original one from the 80s. Um, and uh, Amelia Kincaid was there. Uh, so I 
desperately wanted to get a picture with with her because she's Angela in Night of the Demons. How can I pass that up? So uh, Brewster and I went and got a photo with her. But as I was walking from, uh, as I was walking to her table, Patty Mullen, who was Frankenhooker, complimented my dress. My life is made. What more can I say? <laughs> so anyway, um, after we did our photo ops with them, then it was time already for the uh, the Toxic Avenger Q&A panel. So it was an amazing opportunity. It was the first time the cast has been together for a panel since they ever. It's the first panel ever. <laughs> and the first time that they've all been together in 40 years. So it was Mark Torgel who played Melvin, Jennifer Baptist, who played Wanda, Cynthia Manon, who played Julie, um, Robert Pritchard, who played Slug, and Gary Schneider, who played Bozo. So completely iconic, but I guess I should tell you about The Toxic Avenger if you haven't seen it. Um, I will put a link, it's on Tubi, for you to watch. Um, but it was a 1984 trauma film. Um, if you're not familiar with trauma, it's, it's an amazing company, but they do the craziest, goriest, campiest wild films I've ever seen in my entire life and the Toxic Avenger I think was the epitome of that <laughs> for me so um it's, it's it's a wild ride I can't recommend it enough but anyway um so Brewster and Tiki were in there doing the the panel so I got the entire panel um recorded for you guys and I'll put up a separate video where you can watch it in its entirety without me jumping in and interjecting and, and babbling on um but it was a really fun time so I hope that you guys get to check that out but if you haven't seen Toxic Avenger, again, I would be surprised because it is a cult classic, but basically it's about Melvin, who is, as the poster describes, 98 pounds of solid nerd until he becomes the Toxic Avenger. <laughs> so Melvin is a very, very socially awkward, nerdy uh, janitor at the local health club in Tromaville, of course. Um, and there is a group of four sadists, I don't really know what else to call them, that delight in torturing him and others, but it's particularly after this one time that they play a, a prank on Melvin, um, something goes horribly awry and he ends up getting covered in toxic waste and becomes the Toxic Avenger, of course. Um, I can't call him a superhero. I can't really even call him an anti-hero. <laughs> it's, it's such a gore-filled movie. Uh, again, it's completely campy. It's, it's, it's a fun movie, but um, he does, you know, a lot of people. So, <laughs> um, anyway, like I said, it's on Tubi. Uh, they talk about it and some highlights from, you know, their experience filming it in that panel. And we're here to talk and celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Toxic Avenger. So we're going to ask them a couple questions. We're going to go to Q&A and everyone's going to get an option to talk to them and ask some questions. So, uh... But after that, after the panel was over, um, Brewster and I got the opportunity to go again and talk more to Cynthia Manon and Jennifer Baptist. We're in Ohio, Strong School, Ohio, at the Art of Home Convention. And everyone is so nice. Look at all the people just having a great time. Thanks so much for coming. the sweetest people I have ever met in my entire life. Like, you know, there's nothing better when you meet someone who you're a fan of and they are, they so far exceed your expectations of like how, how amazingly nice they can be. And I could not have asked for a better experience meeting them. Um, Cynthia Manon has put out a book called Black Pearl, A Love Letter to the Ocean. Um, so I, please go check that out. She's an amazingly talented woman just across the board and so sweet. And Jennifer Baptist um, during the panel mentioned that she had been working on a short film uh, that they were trying to expand uh, called No Meat. So please go give those ladies all your love and support. They are like complete gems of people. I don't know. I can't say enough good things about them, but it was so much fun and such a pleasure to meet them. So down to earth. Um, they said that they want to start doing more conventions. So if you get the opportunity to meet them, please, <laughs> please do that. I'm not like affiliated with them. I'm not sponsored by the convention or anybody that I mentioned in this. I just honestly had such an amazing time and such a wonderful experience that I was so thankful to get. Um, and that, you know, 
again, I'm just a big fan. Before I started doing the DIY projects, before I started doing art, my first love was horror. So, <laughs> you know, it's always going to be like a big passion of mine. So I can't, uh, can't tell you enough how much I enjoyed that. But anyway, so after that we had our time at the uh, the convention. Um, Brewster took me to um, see a friend's band of his called the Spasmatics, which it's just, it's amazing 80s campy fun. I'll put a little clip from the concert that I got in here. <laughs> enjoyed this and you want to see more about you know the horror movies I love more conventions or more just general Halloween things uh, activities and events um, coming out before Halloween please let me know and um, otherwise the next video you see from me will be the long-awaited Ouija videos <laughs> so um, I've been working on them since I think February <laughs> <laughs> so how's that for timely? But I finally finished it, finally finished editing it. So that's coming out to you guys soon. Um, and then I will have a lot of other, um, like a return to form on my DIY projects for you guys before Halloween. Um, and also a giveaway because I hit a thousand subscribers, which I can't believe. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me during all of my moving and general life chaos. Uh, you're the best and I can't thank you enough. So, um, I don't know. I will see you guys in the next one and I will talk to you soon. All right. Bye.